Hi everyone, so here is a question on perfect cube and this question was asked by Vishal. So thank you Vishal for asking this question. So here is a video. So the question here is, what is the smallest number by which we can divide 64,827 to get perfect cube? So from the question what we came to know here is this 64,827 is not a perfect cube. We have to make it perfect cube. So how can we do that? So this can be done. Remember whenever they are asking the smallest number to be divided or the smallest number to be multiplied. In that case we have to use prime factorization method to solve such questions. So let's start solving. So we're going to do a prime factorization of this number. Okay, so let me write down the number here. So 64,827. So obviously this number is a odd number. So we will not going to start with the 2. We are going to start with the next prime number which is 3. Remember the method is a prime factorization. So you have to take only prime numbers. So the first prime number is 2. But the given number is an odd number. So let me try with 3. So this first we have a 6 of the digit so 3 2's are 6 so we'll get 2 and then 4 we have 3 1's are 3 and 1 is a remainder 1 is left right so that will gonna make up 18 so 6 uh, 3 6 are 18 so I'll write down 6 here and the next 2 will is not divisible by 3 so I have to put 0 over here and I'll take 27 together and we know 3 9's are 27 so I'll put 9 next again this is again an odd number and this is again divisible by 3 and how can I say that see you have learned about divisibility of 3 we have to just add each digit and if the sum is divisible by 3 then whole number is divisible so 2 plus 1 is 3 3 plus 6 is 9 9 plus 9 is 18 right so if 18 is divisible by 3 it means the whole number is divisible by 3 so uh, from there I can take 3 again so 21 so 21 is divisible by 3 and that is by 7 and again 6 so 3 2's are 6 0 is not divisible so I'll put 0 again down and 3 3's are 9 next again so again we have an odd number let us check again with the 3 so 7 plus 2 is 9 9 plus 3 is 12 and 12 is divisible by 3 so I'll take a 3 again here so 3 2's are 6 1 is remainder and 3 6 are 12 and then we have a 0 here I'll put down a 0 and then 3 3 3 ones are 3 okay 3 4 is 12 I'm sorry I have written 6 over here so it's a 4 so 3 4 is 12 so let me erase this part so I'll just rewrite so this is 3 2's are 6 3 4's are 12 and then 0 and then 1 okay then next so this number 2401 is an odd number let us try with 3 so for 3 2 plus 4 is 6 6 plus 1 is 7 so 7 is not divisible by 3 so 3 3 is not a number next n prime number is 5 but in 5 it doesn't like we have a 1 at the end so obviously it is not divisible by 5 so next prime number is 7 so let us try with 7 Okay, so we know that 3 7s are 21 or 7 3s are 21. So I'll write 7 3s are 21. So we have a remainder 3, right? So that makes up 30. The next number will be 30 here so because 3 is a remainder. And again, I'll take 3 4s are sorry, 7 4s are 28. And if I'll take 28, so 30 minus 28 is 2 will be the remainder. So I'll put the 2 over here. That makes up 21. And we know again 7 3s are 21. So 7 3s are 21. So I'll get 343 here. Now again this 343 is divisible by 7. It's actually a 7 cube. So 7, I'll take down here. 7 uh, 4s are 28 so 6 is a remainder so that makes up 63 so 7 9s are 63 again 49 we got so 7 7s are 49 and the last 7 1s are 7 so what I gonna do here I'll just rewrite this whole number again so we got 64,827 can be written as so we got 
3 3 so I'll write down 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 and here we got 4 7's right so 7 into 7 into whatever number you got just write it down now we know that to get a perfect cube there should be a group of three factors okay group of three factor so here we got one group of this threes okay this is this factor three it's forming a one group or one set we can say but in coming to the seven we have a four seven so if i make a one set here or one group of uh, factor seven remember in each group there should be a three factors okay but one seven is left out here so this seven doesn't have any group it's a single one so this number is not a perfect cube because the seven is left out here so the question here is what is the smallest number by which we can divide to get this number perfect cube so if i remove the seven from this in that case the we get only this set and this set so that is a perfect cube right because we have exact sets so to remove means i have to divide the seven so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna divide both the side by seven so this divide by seven i'll just rewrite this so if they're asking you what is smallest number to be divided so that will be a seven remember seven i have to remove that so therefore i'll just conclude at the down here therefore 7 is a smallest number smallest number to be divided or smallest number by which by which this number 64,827 should be divided now if I divide this then what will be the number let us check it out that so in this question they are not asking that in this question they are just asking what is smallest number so the smallest number will be 7 but in case in the extension of the question is find the perfect cube also so I'm going to divide 7 on both the sides so I'm going to divide 7 here and here also so I can cancel the 7 and 7 and here if I cancel the 7 and this given number so we get 6 9's are sorry 7 9's are 63 1 is left 7 of 2's are 14 so 4 will be the remainder so 42 7 6 are 42 and then last we have 7 1's are 7 so 6 sorry 9261 we got so this number is a perfect cube so we can find out a cube root of this number so cube root of this number will be it's very simple we got a set of 3 and set of 7 from each you take one one factor so from here 3 and from here I'll take 1 7 and that is 21 so cube root of 9261 will be 21 that's it I hope it's clear in case you have a question or doubt you can drop a comment below thank you so much for watching